Hi, this is Stephanie from ObsidianDawn.com. Two of my most popular brush sets are eyelashes and eyeshadow, so I get a lot of questions on how to use them. So today I thought I'd throw together a tutorial explaining how to get the most out of them and showing you some of the different things that you can do with them. I'll be using a photo of my own eyes to show you how this works. You can download it and use it to follow along yourself if you like. If you're on YouTube, the link to the image is in the video's description. And if you're on my website, then it's in the introduction area of the post. Also make sure that you download both the eyelashes and eyeshadow brushes from obsidiandawn.com and install them. And if you're not sure how to do that, then again on Obsidian Dawn in my tutorial section, you can find a tutorial called Installing Brushes. All right, so in Photoshop, the first thing you're going to want to do is open up the image and then uh, make sure that you have your layers window open over here. If it's not, you can hit F7 to make sure that it's open. And then we're going to load up the correct brushes. So click on your brush tool or hit B and then this small arrow to the right of the thumbnail and then this small arrow here. Now right now you can see that I've got just the basic round brushes open. I'm going to leave those open because I might be using them and I am going to click on eyelashes and in order to leave these open here so that I can have both this and the eyelashes open at the same time I'm going to click append and as you can see it adds the eyelashes to the end of the round brushes and I'm going to do the same thing with eyeshadow I'm going to append so now I've got the round brushes eyelashes and eyeshadow open now I'm going to choose some eyelashes. I've got lots to choose from in this pack. Some of them look uh, like real eyelashes, some of them look like fake eyelashes. I'm going to choose some that look like uh, fake eyelashes to start with. And you're going to want to get it about the right size. It does not have to be perfect, although that's pretty close. Create a new layer by clicking on this button here in your layers window. And making sure that it's selected and then making sure that your color is fairly close to black. You're going to click once and you've got your eyelashes. However, they are not fitting perfectly so uh, we're going to transform them and you can get to that by either clicking on Edit Transform Scale which brings up this bounding box or I'm going to cancel that and then I'm just going to hit Control T or Command T if you're on a Mac. And that brings up the bounding box also, which you can then use to resize the brushes. And it still isn't quite right. Sometimes that curvature won't be correct. So you're going to right click in the middle of that box there, and we're going to choose Warp. And the Warp tool takes a little bit of uh, playing around with to get used to, but it's pretty simple. You just drag the parts of the brush that you want to move and it moves it and say I don't want the lashes to be quite as long I can move these down then click on the check mark to save it and now I do have eyelashes for right and left but since we just went through all that work transforming it we might as well keep that and so I'm going to duplicate this layer. Right click on it in your layers window and choose duplicate layer. Then command T or control T to bring up that bounding box again. Right click and flip horizontal. And then just drag it over to your other eye. And it won't fit perfectly initially because nobody's face is perfectly symmetrical. So you're going to want to right click and maybe warp it a little bit more. And then hit the check mark and there we go. We've now got eyelashes on both eyes. I'm going to put these onto the same layer so I'm going to command or control E. And now both of the eyelashes are on the same layer. And I like to actually go back and add a second thing of eyelashes um, to make them more voluminous. Uh, as you can see here, they're, they're alright just like this, but if you want more lashes, 
you can just do the exact same thing again which I'm going to do and then I'll be right back with you. Alright, so now I have added the second set of eyelashes. I've got them each on their own layer. Uh, there's no reason to do that though because this next part I actually want them on the same layer. So I'm going to control E or command E again and now I've got all the lashes on the same layer. I'm going to take a round brush tool of the softer edged variety and add an opacity of yeah around 39-40%. I'm going to make these so that they're not quite as sharp edged. Sometimes they look alright like that but I tend to like them a little bit more if they fade off. So there we go. And now I'm going to add some lower lashes which you will find some of in the pack as well. Here they are. Using the exact same methods but make sure that you do each of these on a new layer each time so that you can when you're transforming it you're transforming just that layer. Now when you're using this transform tool, if you want to keep it so that the proportions stay the same, you can hold down the shift key while you're transforming it, and as you can see, it keeps the proportions the same. And that's always a good idea to do with these, otherwise you can get some really warped and odd looking things. That's actually pretty close. Make sure that your eyelashes don't overlap that small part of your lid there. And I'm going to duplicate, transform, flip horizontal, and move it over to the other eye. Warp it just a little bit to get it just right. So now on my layers palette I'm going to merge all these into one layer and call it eyelashes. If I can spell. And I'm going to change the blending mode of that layer, which is this the small box here up at the top of your layers palette. I'm going to change it to multiply and make the opacity a little bit lower because very few things in this world are true black, and this way you get a darker color without having it be a very fake looking black black. So that already looks a lot better. Now I'm going to play around with some of the eyeshadows which are down here in the bottom. I'm going to take a fairly simple brush and you're going to go through the exact same thing that you went through with the eyelashes with the eyeshadow but again make sure each time you put it on its own new layer and then duplicate it and move it to the other side. First I want to show you some of the best colors that you can use based on eye color. Uh, you always want to make your eyeshadow match your eye color and not make it match your clothing. So here's some of the good colors for green or hazel eyes. I really like using plum on my own eyes. I think it really helps bring out the green. So I'm just gonna take that color and get the brush about the right size. Make sure that you have the right layer open, of course. Now that looks extremely fake at this point, but that's why we're going to transform and change it to fit the eye perfectly and then change that blending mode because it looks like it's painted on there right now. It doesn't look like eyeshadow. So that blending mode, well, let me duplicate it first. horizontal. Oh yeah. And I'm going to merge these two layers. And see right now it's actually on top of the eyelashes layer. You don't want it there. You want it between the background layer and the eyelashes layer, which is where it should be. And now we're going to change the blending mode. 
you can try all kinds of different things from multiply, which works pretty well, to color works some some of the time, depending. It won't darken it at all or lighten it. It'll just change the color. And that's not necessarily what most eyeshadows do. So one of my favorites to use is overlay. I think that that one usually looks really good. And I'm going to change the hue of this a little bit because now it looks pink on my skin, whereas it should actually be more of a plum. Right about there. Then you can change the opacity of the layer because that's kind of dark to right around there. And you can use different colors to keep adding more eyeshadow to the lid in parts. Each of the eyeshadow brushes is in a different shape and can be used on various parts of the eyelid. Just make sure to use each on its own layer and then you can use various colors and play around with the blending options for that layer to come up with all kinds of different looks. And I'm going to add some green to the inner corner of the lid because I think that also helps to bring out the green in the eyes. Just a little bit of green to accent the purple. And I'm going to use this brush. Again, a new layer. Now see, I can't even see where the brush is, what the brush is doing, but you can always just click with it and then transform it. And you couldn't see that because it was so, it was just so light. And change it to overlay. No, how about color? Color looks good in this case. Now that brush had kind of a harder edge than I would like in this circumstance, so you can always, since it's on its own layer, go into Gaussian Blur under Filters and blur it until it looks right to you. So here's a few examples of different eyeshadow combinations I made. The eyeshadow pack includes an eyeliner brush as well, which I used in the top and the bottom photos. And you can see how each eyeshadow combination helps to bring out each particular eye color, and they all look fairly realistic as well. In the eyeshadow pack, there's all kinds of different brushes made to be used on various parts of an eye. Some for the inner lid, some for the middle, some for the outer or the upper, and even some to add underneath the lower lashes. So just play around with them and you can come up with all kinds of different eyeshadow combinations. They are a lot of fun to play with. Now here's a great before and after shot just to show you how dramatic a difference these brushes can make. And you don't have to start with a photo that doesn't have any makeup at all on either, like the one I've been using is. I just wanted to show the difference that it can make when you're starting with blonde, practically invisible lashes. So I hope this helps. If you have any questions or comments, your best bet is to comment on obsidiandawn.com uh, rather than on YouTube. I will see it a lot faster there. Thanks.